Well, Nate writes the vast majority of songs, but something, you call something me inside of him. He's just keeps writing so many songs. More Hans and I just try to keep up a little bit. But uh, that's why we keep putting out new stuff all the time. Because we have a lot of songs. We even have had made a conscious effort to learn more covers and less of our newer songs. Uh, so that when we see people... Like, maybe we go somewhere, our album came out two months ago, then we go there, and like, but no one's heard any of those new songs, and we don't play any. We already are playing songs that, like, are even newer than the ones that are on the new album. Like, we're always playing super new songs, and, like, people are like, mm -hmm. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to do that, so. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but as far as touring so much, um, I don't know, I, I feel like I'm more myself when I'm on tour. Like that's the real me or I something. I feel like I have athletes Why is that? when I'm on tour. Because I do. Uh, it's just your, you have so much, all the time, every, all your time on tour is your time entirely. And you, I'm, I don't know, I love traveling. I love meeting new people and watching bands and playing shows. And that's all tour is. It's awesome. And getting to sample all the finest taquerias all across the country. That's why I do it. <laughs> The whole taco busting thing, that's not taquerias like a joke or something, that's like, that's the true story uh, of the end, like, that's who we are, basically. Kanakaria. I gotta say, like, uh, it's the funnest way to spend my life. Maybe I'd feel differently if I had a job I cared about at all. Or Wait, you don't love delivering phone books? Or pizza. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, or the good. Like, when you just, like, you know what I mean? Like, when you're just, like, having fun and just, like... Delivering the goods? The goods, yes. <laughs> but that's what we do on tour. We deliver the goods. <laughs> you know, we deliver the goods. <laughs> I delivered the goods to uh, several people in the last year. Yeah! Oh, you're speaking of the Skid Row cover EP beside ourselves where they covered Judas Priest delivering the Interpret wood. what I said how you wish. All I'm saying I is shall that traveling around is fun. You see new places like you know how West Virginia is shaped? It's shaped like somebody flipping you the bird. <laughs> and well, also in the orange belt. We're going to play in the middle finger on our next tour. That's why we go on tour. To play in weirdly <laughs> anatomically related shaped states. Thank you. That is my answer. Who's your uh, favorite band in all this time? The Ergs. And music. Okay, okay, I, okay. They're friends of mine. I love their music. But I'm like, so previously I was like said that Screeching Weasel was my favorite band. And then like after, it was about a year ago and I saw them and I'm like, you know, I don't think... I love Screeching Weasel, but like, I think the Ergs are better. Like, just to, you yeah, I agree with that. And you're comparing one and two. Gold like, when you. The Ergs never had albums that had non self titled titles that. What if they did? <laughs> Hanson's trying Screeching to say Weasel did! Uh, Screeching Weasel's the only good album that's self titled. I agree. But. Whoa. It's a good album. But it's not their only well, good I, one. No, I, I like their, their second. Their second one's good. And then they can't even You know it's a different band. Oh, God. No, 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 no. It's oh, so we're getting good. interviewed by somebody who's afraid. Boogie the Boogie the Sucks. I do a boogie. Then the crap, next though. four rule. Really? Then right. all the reunion albums are not that great, but are Emo is not good. Are you kidding me? Emo and Television City Dream that are That album's great. not good. Yeah, it is. It, it fucking kicks ass. Television City Dream is not good. It kicks ass, man. It's uh, like literally. Okay, literally, literally kicks ass. The only not good. like it's cool. The like it really only, kicks ass. The only bad albums are Teen Punks and Heat and Boogie the Boogie the Boogie. Boogie. Those are the only two bad ones. That's all I gotta say. And like, now, if you listen to the oh, CD yeah, of the yeah, first album, they have the demos for Booga Booga, and those are way better than the real album. Agreed. I totally like, agree. The CD of the first album, like the first yeah. album, yeah, yeah, they yeah. re-released it with bonus tracks. It's funny how timing matters. Wait, really? Yeah, it's a lot better. Do you know? Okay, actually, I have the VML reissue of it that came out in like yeah, the mid '90s. Yeah, the CD is the one I got. But the 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 original pressing of it is like the artwork is way cooler. The red is like this cranny thing. It's like shaded. It's not just a solid color. The name is like scrawled in their non-cartoony fonts that they yeah. used after that. Yeah. 
I can't believe they dumbed it down, Alex. Like that. Jesus. It's kind of weird. But, anyway, the screechy wings are rolled, but the ergs are better. Okay. My favorite band. I do ever. agree that the ergs are better. Do you guys have any other musical influences than... We listen to a little of everything. That's no. the real trick. A little Only Avril Lavigne. and Screeching Weasel. <laughs> Wait. And Avril Lavigne. Why well, you have to go now. and make this so complicated? Wait, but wasn't it the four on one? Like, right, 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 from Everybody Should Buy Straight Out of Linwood, the new album by oh, Weird Al. Apparently, he's got a song called White and Nerdy. Parody of that party. Because I'm just too what and nerdy. I gotta tell you, man. The weirdest of all the L. That's, that's it's pretty amazing. Like, we're back in an era when we were L can have good songs. Because all the late 90s songs sucked. Like, yeah, he had to like cover new metal. Oh, and stuff. God, yeah. Wait, but Ronnie the Wayne Angry Boy. Well, it only rules because of Albuquerque is on it. There's a few good songs. It's all about the Pentium. Uh, my name is Nate, and, and my favorite band ever is Who's Do. And my favorite band right now is The Raining Sound. I hope that answers something. Thanks, Nate. I think he's my favorite band of all time. My uh, favorite band right now? Um, let's us climb. Holy shit. I think... Yeah. Um, we're actually, like, if you compare to bands that are around today to, like, or any other era, basically, like, there are so many good bands right now, like, I would not rather exist in like, any other historical scene or something like that. It's like, you know, it's cool to be all nostalgic and, like, think it would have been cool to see the Ramones in 1977 or whatever the fuck, but, like, the bands that we play with and, like, shows now are, like probably better than any of that shit. So. Maybe. And if the weather's nice, a barbecue is pretty much guaranteed. Yeah. <laughs> I really <laughs> live for the barbecue backyard. I live for the barbecue. Uh, barbecue? What do you got? Um, and you got more than that, Mike. Where did the name my machine come from? A crowd song. Our, our friend Ryan... We no, no, you don't need to talk. He actually answered it in one fell swoop. Well, brevity is the soul of wit. However, let wit's soul be exemplified. Well, the point is, we were having a hard time thinking of a name, and that was one that our friend Ryan suggested. And it's a we like the song a lot. It sounds cool. Portanga? Yeah. Any, any final notes? Yes. Um, G flat minor 7, H 12, and a half. You can tell he's so Just saying. Music. Just saying. <laughs> um, we, we sing about a lot of shit that is just like about like girls and our own stupid feelings. But if you ever if you ever vote Republican, you're an asshole. And if you vote against like this in Wisconsin, there's this amendment on the ballot about gay rights, and uh, it's it's about like it's a it's very cleverly worded, so that if you vote against it, you vote against gay marriage civil unions, and possibly domestic partnerships, too. Now, I'm wasted right now. In fact, I'm going to drink more of this Bushmills. But i got to tell you something. If you vote against this shit, you are an asshole. I mean, I really don't fucking want to have to deal with anybody in my life who votes in this year against this hey, you guys have a good night? gay marriage thing. All right. Because good. even though I don't, you know, care really about marriage, because it's a religious oh, thing, whether it's well, gay or well, hetero, it's fun anyways. everybody yeah, should have the right that everyone else has. It's uh, so simple. Right, you should be look. able to so, uh, arrange with someone else, no matter what your, your head head gender head. is, to take care of your finances it's when you're dying, to have a will prepared. And the Republican Party, 
no matter how moderate any individual guy, Republican is, guy, that Republican, by dint of them having an R next to their name, is supporting these hateful, evil laws that ban simple civic arrangements. No, it's all about trickle-down effect. When the so rich make a lot of money, they're going to have to have it, too. That's, that's, too. that's, that's what I got to say. Social responsibility, right? I really <laughs> hope they, that if uh, this uh, interview uh, is in print, they, uh, you know, like, people who hear this might, like, look into the candidates and vote intelligently. And, you know, if you don't, that's cool. You should. You should. You should. You should. You should. You should. And, uh, and that's my statement. And... I just I'm done. Uh, campus uh, hey, damn. Uh, and they had these fucking posters of fucking Ronald Reagan. Posters of them!